हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल दिस इज आवर फिफ्टी ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ पावर बीआई इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट डेटा फ्लोज इन पावर बीआई सर्विसेज वे आर वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू बिल्ड कनेक्शन विद द पावर बी आई डेस्कटॉप आई होप गाइज नाउ यू हैव गुड अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट डेटा फ्लोज एंड नाउ इन टू डेज क्लास वी विल अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट सम डिफरेंसिस बिटवीन पावर बी आई डेस्कटॉप एंड पावर बी आई सर्विसेज सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड गाइज so this is my power bi desktop window guys and this is my power bi services window so first difference i would like to tell you guys for using power bi desktop no licensing is required you can simply download and install into your machine but for power bi services you need some licensing there like pro premium per user and premium per capacity so this is the first difference guys between power bi services and power bi desktop and now let's talk about some feature differences so in power bi desktop guys you can see the visualization pane and field pane now comes to the power bi services so if i click here on this report so here you can see this edit button so you need to click on this button and from here guys you can also change visuals you can add page or you can play with your report so you don't need to go power bi desktop to add or remove visuals so this feature is same for both the applications and now comes to the third difference so guys we cannot apply any dax function here in power bi services but in power bi desktop we can apply dax function as you have already seen and if i talk about the fourth difference we can't create any data modeling in power bi services but in power bi desktop we can also build the relationship between the tables but we can expect these features in power bi services near future guys so these are the basic differences guys between power bi services and desktop and now guys let me talk about some remaining feature of power bi services so guys we have covered this edit option now comes to the get insight option so guys this option is for the premium user only so let me click on this option and here you can see guys get more feature with premium per user that means i can't able to access this feature because i am a pro user guys but i will give you heads up about this feature so let's suppose if in our report has trend analysis and kpi visuals or some gate chart visual so once you click this option then new window get pop up on the right side and you will get to see some target sign over there and you need to click on this target sign then you will get to see the highlighted figure and if you want to learn more about this feature so you guys need to explore yourself this is very easy to use so let me close this and now comes to the chats in team so that means you guys can chat with your team members or your colleagues and from here guys you can share the report to your team members or your manager so once you click this option you can enter the email id here and you can press the send button so let me close this guys and now comes to the export if i click on export so you guys can export your file into excel format powerpoint and pdf and now comes to the file option guys and from here guys you can save a copy of your report and you can also download this file so we have covered all the features under this report view now comes to the workspace so here is the workspace guys and now firstly we will talk about this new so if i click here on new button you can also build your auto report so yes guys we can also build auto report in power bi services this is a great feature in power bi services to create auto report so let me show you how can we build auto report in power bi services so let me click on this new button and you can also create report score cards dashboards data set data flow and so on so let me click on report first and rest feature you need to explore yourself so you guys can see we have two options are here so if i click on this option so you need to create your data set like in excel so we have to enter manually data here but we already have a data set guys so i will choose this second option so here we can see guys we have multiple data set so let me click on this product data set and now we need to click on auto create report 
and once you click it guys so you guys can see your report is ready to view so here is the report guys and we can see this power bi services has auto built this report and here are only two fields which is product and sales so the report is making on the basis of product and sales and if we have another columns guys so we can also see another visuals here but this time only two columns are here that's why displaying only one visual so let's get back to the workspace guys and now comes to the second feature which name is upload so let me click on this upload and from here guys you can browse the data into your desktop and you can also add the data from sharepoint and onedrive and now let's come to the third feature which name is create deployment pipeline so let me click on this button so guys this feature is for premium license user so i don't have any access to use this feature else i would surely explain this concept so for now only i am skipping this create deployment pipeline option so you need to explore yourself about this feature so let me click on okay button and here are the views guys so you guys can also change the view of your power bi services so let me click on view option so let me convert into lineage view so in this way guys you can change the view setting of your power bi services and now comes to the setting option and from here guys you can add or delete your workspace you can also rename your workspace name so let me cancel this and this access feature we have already covered in previous classes So guys we have finished our full power bi course so let me get back to the power bi desktop and now guys i would like to take few minutes of you and share few words so let me turn on my camera first hi everyone so we have completed full power bi course with this class and i have tried to explain each and every concept in detail if you guys have any doubt with any concept you can watch this video on multiple time and i'm sure guys you will get more clarity about your topics if you will watch this video multiple times or you can watch other videos for the same concept and from next class i will create separate playlist of dax functions visuals and some new updated features in power bi services and desktop and i will also create some other playlist of scenario and interview preparation questions and now comes to interview part so guys for cracking interview you need to follow different strategy because and learning this course is a different thing and as you know guys many people are taking training from other institutes and they are paying high fee to the institute but still they are jobless you know why because they are not following the right strategy to crack job interviews so let me give you an example guys to understand this for example many people sitting in exam but not everyone come first and not everyone get pass few of them get flunk in exam so in very similar way guys not everyone can clear this interview rounds so you need to work hard to crack interview so i will definitely try to remove this hurdle that how you prepare for interview with correct strategy so i would like to share my experience with you guys I have given more than 35 interviews during my time but I never lose hopes guys because I know I am learning more from my rejections and I kept continuously working on scenarios and questions so if I can do it you guys can also do it and now I will tell you how you need to prepare for interview with right strategy so in an interview guys 60% questions asked related to the theoretical part like what is power bi difference between services and power bi desktop and other some dax differences like what is calculated column and measure row level security and so on so you need to make notes from my videos and prepare yourselves for an interviews because i have explained each and every concept in detail and after that you need to give some interviews and learn from scenarios because 30% questions ask from the scenario based so you need to work on some scenarios as well and remaining 10% ask related to the profile and basic roles and responsibility in your organizations and i guarantee guys if you guys are following my videos with step by step you don't need to go here and there just prepare notes and keep work on it because i was totally new to this power bi that's why i took much time
I didn't even aware about the how to extract the data. So from first day guys, I started give an interview. So I am sure guys, if you are following this strategy in a correct way, you will surely select it in very less time. And I tell you guys, there are lots of job opening in market for Power BI and SQL developer. So no need to worry about jobs. Just focus on learning, make more practice. Surely you will get select. And if someone is looking only paid Power BI full course training or interview preparation training, so you guys can directly connect me on LinkedIn. And for free learners, guys, we have this YouTube channel. So please share this channel with those who really want to learn Power BI, but they don't have much money to join such professional course. So spread this channel, guys, to needy people. And you guys can definitely change career to few people. So guys, please share this channel to them. It would be really appreciable. So thank you so much, guys, for your more love and support. And keep learning, keep growing. And stay connected with us for more learning about Power BI. Thank you so much.